Does it just does it just start? There's no chance of you actually sleeping tonight. Okay. In a final attempt to guarantee a spot on the nice list, you decided to try to do some extra chores before midnight. Oh, oh. Okay, the game just starts. Um. Well, I, I don't. Okay. Um, okay, I guess it just fucking begins. Um. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another one of these. That was a sound. Uh, we're just gonna get into it. So, I figured out that by looking down, I can look at my chores list here. Do laundry. Do the dishes. Put away video games. Turn off all the electric ca electric candles. And take the trash... To the garage? Uh, this game is called For Goodness Sake. Let's, um... Let's do this. I guess it's so dark what are all these noises turned off electric candle one out of six maybe I should wait for that keep the light going I don't like how dark this is oh Wish Hannah and Greg had made up. Hannah always gave Greg a lot of grief about egging that one neighbor's car. Even after Greg confided in you both about how guilty he felt and how it was affecting his sleep. But it all fell apart when Isaac got blamed for it and grounded. Hannah told Greg he needed to make it right. Hannah even threatened to tell on Greg if he didn't. This, this is some lore, guys. When she went missing, Greg began losing more than just sleep. Why was Hannah taken by Krampus? Oh, okay. Merry uh, Christmas in, in March? Oh. Well. I do think she should have acted immediately, yeah. was she taken by Krampus and I have to I don't know we'll just go with this first one covering for crimes is sometimes more damning it seems well I did the dishes um, oh 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 I can go outside You should collect all the other trash first. Okay. I'll, I'll just go back inside. I'll just go back inside. I can't seem to turn the volume down, so I apologize if it's very loud. Yeah, let's do the laundry. Let's do this. Ha ha ha. Looking at the socks, you suddenly think about something that happened at school years ago. Brianna was the popular kid in class, with Nancy and Mark always tagging along, reaping the benefits. But one day, Brianna turned everyone in class against Nancy. Even Mark turned against her. I don't know, I don't know what to do with this. Eventually, it got bad enough that Brianna even started stealing Nancy's stuff. One time, it was her socks and shoes after gym class. Humiliated, Nancy had to walk back to class barefoot. You don't want to do that. Later, she was pursued by the teacher who demanded to know where her shoes went. Nancy didn't want to be branded as a snitch, possibly making things worse, so she lied. Nancy ended up going missing around Christmas. Oh. 
Krampus took her, she must have done something wrong, right? It must have been Nancy lying to her teacher. Why was it wrong? Lying showed disrespect to her teacher. You can't fix what you don't know is broken. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I'm real creeped out. Okay, let's go in here and look at this little list. Um, okay, so it's just candles, video games, and the trash. But I don't know where the trash is. Oh, it's right here. Oh, there's three, three things of trash. Was there a trash can in here? No. All right. I'll make sure to turn off all the candles. If I'm a child, why are my footsteps so loud and heavy? Oh, do these at all affect the light? I need to know. Yes. Oh, oh, it's darker. Okay. What's in here? Oh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Bathroom will have trash. Boom. Oh? What was that? Oh, I thought there was a interaction marker. Hello? Someone here? I hope not. That would be spooky. Oh, I can't walk up the stairs. I have to just... That's uncomfortable. Those those steps are very loud. Okay. Can't see what's on there. Hmm. Okay, let's find out what's in here. Oh, God, that closing door sound was just spooky. I got all the trash. Time to head to the garage. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight for the garage. I don't like how loud those stairs are. Into the garage. Just, just put the trash in. Oh God! An empty candy wrapper reminds you of the school fundraiser you did once of Christie. All the kids were going to get a small percentage of the total to boost motivation, so everyone went extra on it. But the extra you earned never showed up and seemed to be forgotten about. You later heard Christy was trusted by the teacher to distribute the extra earnings to your group. And you really only heard about that when Dana told you they suspected Christy. Dana even called Christy out to one of the parents. Christy became shunned, but the money was still never found. Later that year, around this time, Dana went missing. You're guessing this was probably the situation that did it. Maybe Dana should have talked to Christy first, because... It would have given Christy an opportunity to explain her side of the story, or it might have given Christy a chance to help fix the situation and be saved from punishment. We're going to go with that one. Better to check first, before tossing the stones. Yep. Is someone over there? I don't like that the music went quiet. Okay, what's left? Video games and all the candles. Okay. Neighborhood dogs are losing their minds. What's... What's in here? It's the door to the basement. There's no way you're going down there at night. 
Well, something tells me I'm going to end up down there at some point, but all right. Turn off that candle. Turn off that candle. We'll go upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... door to your parents room you decide against waking them in case it would count against you smart oh oh cool let's clean up the video games Oscar loved math but he also felt a need to somehow justify it by getting into trouble okay Nothing serious, but Oscar still got granted, grounded by his strict parents quite a bit. There was that one time you noticed Patty got mad at Oscar for not helping her with her homework as promised. He was grounded at the time, no friends, no phone. Patty ultimately flunked that class. And Oscar vanished in early December that year. Why was Oscar punished for obeying his parents? Okay. Helping Patty would have resulted in less overall suffering than sneaking out because Patty would have not flunked. Or, keeping the agreement would have placed greater value on honor, loyalty, and friendship. Huh. Uh. I just... A promise is a promise. It sure is. Look at that, all nice and clean. Now it's just the candles. So now we'll just go out there. Jesus, I hate those sounds. Let me just turn off the candles, bro. Oh, a Balforce hoverboard is something you put on your Christmas list every year. But they're expensive and always so hard to find, so you're not holding your breath. For the longest time, the only kid in school that ever managed to get one was Barb, and she let everyone know it was hers. She guarded it fiercely. So when your best friend mentioned that they saw Alex running around with the hoverboard with Barb nowhere in sight, they thought it was strange. Your best friend later ran into Barb, but didn't say anything about it. They confessed to you that they didn't think it was any of their business. Your best friend went missing last... Uh, what? And for 12 months now, you haven't thought about anything else. If this was the incident that put them on the naughty list, what about it was so wrong? Maybe your best friend should have told Barb because... It's always important to be truthful to others. Barb would have been happier knowing in the long run. Uh... Always important to be truthful. That's what we're going with. You think this every time you see your best friend's house through the window. Uh, it sounds like something's at the front door. I think I should actually go to bed. That's what I think. Let, let's just go to bed. Let's just go, go to sleep. I'm just gonna go to sleep. I did my chores. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. No, I don't want to go down there. Please. Okay. Alright. Front door. <coughs> Oh, good. 
machete. What does that say? Clean the... See, I told you I was going to end up going down there. Oh, look, there's a nice light on it now. Just for me. Oh. Oh. Why couldn't I have just gone to bed? Okay. That's cool. I can't see anything, but that's fine. What kind of a basement is this? Oh, guys, I got a present. Uh-huh. Okay. Guys, I think it's safe to say I'm being abducted. Oh, I got an achievement called Taken. What? Uh... Okay. It just closed. So... Uh, I guess that was the game. That, that was, that was the game. Thank you so much for watching. If you did. <laughs> You should subscribe. We are so close to 100. It would mean so much to me if we could get it there. Um, yeah, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.